A season that began with high expectations from owner Mikhail Prokhorov, who said this team could be an Eastern Conference Finals contender, ends tonight with a Game 7 loss in the first round to the Chicago Bulls. And for the last time, the Nets will close out the lights here at Barclays Center. Joe, when you look back on the seven-game series, what did you learn about this team? Us as a team? As a team, yes. Well, I mean, we, we overcame a lot. Uh, I mean, being down 3-1 and able to come back and send it to a game seven. Uh, here on our home floor, we felt very good about it and uh, just came up short. You know, we had, I, I think we had a great season as a team, you know, especially for everybody being thrown together. You know, all of a sudden, for the first time coming in, uh, coaching changes in the middle of the season and, uh, you know, guys getting used to playing with each other. I think, you know, uh, we had a pretty good season. The 48 minute thing is, is an effort thing. That's individual, but you know that's something that we know we can improve on and as far as individual status. But I think as a team, the Brooklyn Nets had a pretty good season for the first year being together. Brook, you guys were developing chemistry a lot this season. Now that you have the one year under your belt, your expectations next year for the development of the big three? Yeah, you know, I think uh, it goes deeper than B3, big three. You know, it's an entire team. You know, uh, we were learning on the fly this season. You know, I think we learned a lot and uh, we have a, a lot of off season to really uh, get together, work out together, and hammer a lot of things out that uh, we didn't do well this season. And you know, uh, come back uh, next year, learn some more together, and uh, get some more wins. And the uncertain off season for the Brooklyn Nets begins with interim head coach PJ Carlesimo's future uncertain. The team has a couple of trade chips in Chris Humphreys and Marshawn Brooks, but limited cap flexibility going forward. We'll see what moves Billy King has in store for this team. I'm Michael Scott for Real GM reporting for the final time here in Barclays Center.